Hello, friend. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. So good morning. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. So when I'm preparing for, to sit with you for Coffee Break Prayer, I always take a quick scan of the headlines just to make sure nothing horrible happened. And I'm like praying about Dungeons and Dragons or the garden or whatever. And um, of course, there's always difficult stuff. But today I was um, in the garden and thinking about just praising God for the growth of seed and for the wisdom that comes from um, gardening. If you have the chance to put your hands in dirt, even if it's a little pot with some herbs in it for your window cell or something, just something about that, waiting for the seed to grow. And Jesus talks about this in the Gospels, etc. So, um, came in and tending to pray about that, but in my little scan of the headlines, of course, there's all kinds of stuff going on. What captured my heart is that there is yet another um, ship full of people capsized off the coast of Yemen, and um, 49 people are confirmed dead, and 71, I think, or 79 are rescued. There's about 140 people still in the water. So let's ask God mercy on people who are so um so overwhelmed that they choose to get on the to, to it's so terrible where you are that you that you would take that kind of a risk and then the worst happens and um so let's begin as always in the name of the father and of the son the holy spirit amen Come, Holy Spirit, and help us to pray. Help us to come before you with trust and gratitude and love and hope, especially on behalf of those who are hopeless. And I invite you to take a couple deep breaths just to help us come back to now, right? Now is where we encounter Emmanuel, God with us, right here, right now. So, Take a deep breath. Oh. Abba, our hearts ache for those who are drowning. Such a scary, I can't even imagine. I have asthma, so I know what it's like to fight for breath and how terrifying that can be. So I can't imagine what it's like for people exhausted in the water. So please guide rescuers to find your little ones, your beloved children, the images of God who are struggling in the waters off the coast of Yemen. Comfort them, Lord, be with those who are dying. Welcome those who have died. And please preserve the lives of those in the water. Rescue them, Lord. By, by inspiring us, by inspiring your servants, your images, your representatives here on earth to look in the right places, to go out and find your children. So mercy on those who are grieving. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Abba, on those who are hoping. Mercy on those who are contemplating the dangerous trip. And mercy on those who are part of creating the conditions of violence and desperation that drive people into the sea. Have mercy, Lord. Help us all love each other, to honor one another, to honor you and our love for each other, and uh, help us to create oases of peace and stability everywhere in the world so that all your children can thrive. I especially ask your wisdom on those in leadership roles 
in every family, in every community, on every ship, in every government, in every business, and just Lord, be with those who have influence, who can make positive change, whether they realize it or not. And be with those who maybe don't have direct power, but like Queen Esther, can influence the direction of history. Be with them, Lord, giving them courage and wisdom. And again, mercy. We beg your mercy, Abba. We don't have to beg because you love us. I'm sorry, but we ask your mercy on all those who are experiencing deep waters, literally and figuratively, and especially when the those Somali, Somalian and Ethiopian folks on, who, who are on that boat trying to reach safe harbor. May they find safe harbor. If we ask in Jesus' name, amen. And may you be blessed this day. And in anything that feels overwhelming to you, if you feel like you're drowning, may you find safe harbor as well. Blessed, dear one, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.